Well, this certainly took an unexpected turn. Well, anyways, hey guys, what's going on? This is Connor Aarons here from the CN Nation, and welcome back to some more Zelda Twilight Princess. Um, last episode, we completed the Lake Bed Temple, and apparently we got caught by Zant, saving the land of Hyrule, I guess. And so he took away our fused shadows, and he made Midna look like this. So it is now our duty to save her from this. So we have to take her to Princess Zelda in Hyrule Castle. Also, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching my videos, because recently I've been getting a couple of comments on them, so I just want to thank you all for them so much. I always enjoy the support. Um, I do work today, but you're watching this a day ahead from now, because I'm going to upload this tomorrow, because there's no way I'm going to have time to edit this video. It's probably, it's probably going to be like 45 minutes to an hour long. Maybe not an hour, maybe more like 45 minutes, but whatever. I'm still thankful that you guys still tune in every day, so I just want to thank you all so much for that. Anyways, here is the castle, so we're just going to go ahead and walk right to it. Now we're going to have to go to Telma's bar because she said there's a passageway in there that leads into the castle, so it's like the only way that we're going to have to do it. Oh yeah, sweat on my face. It's really hot in here. Uh, this is what July weather does to you when you live in Pennsylvania. All right, come on down here. Here we are, Talma's bar. It looks like the rain isn't even touching the ground. That's funny. All right, here's the um, door. It's wide open. So let's go head on in. Beast, get out. Okay, guess not. Well, guess that that plan didn't work, and no, nothing even closed the door. You there? Who's that? Mr. Cat, you're Connor, correct? Yes, well, how do you know? You've never seen me look like this. Hmm, yes, I thought so. I could just tell, you know. I'm Luis. Do you remember meeting me in the shop before? Though I don't think we were properly introduced. In any case, I must tell you, I'm a bit puzzled as to why you look like that. Exactly, how'd you know it was me? Really, dear, you can't blame the humans for tossing you out the way you look. Oh, another patient? You certainly are a curious sort. Please, please. Princess uh, Zelda. This way. Through the window. Here, get in through the window. The attic is connected to the castle's waterway. It's an old waterway though, so it could be a rough trip. Well, I suppose that's all that's left to do is make sure that the humans don't notice you. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, so we're gonna take this crate and push it just to the side of this. Is that it? Okay, yeah, that's it. Climb on top of these three crates and not jump. Let's not jump off. It's really hard to see this at the angle I'm at. Everything just looks black and dark. All right, here we are. Hmm. Okay. So anyway, here it is. Sorry, I was just checking something. So yeah, we have to walk on these ropes here. Let's see what the Goron has to say, come on. I don't wanna... Also, yeah, if you turn around on the ropes, that happens. You just... Wolf Link just, like, very rapidly turns around. Alright, anyways. Now we're just going to go ahead and make our way through. I don't wanna hear. I don't care what the Goron says. I've only fallen down here a few times, but that was just because I've been really careless. I don't think I will listen to them. Alright, come on. This one's really tough. There we go, got it. Got it! <coughs> oh, excuse me. Got it, here we go, let's go. Here we are, this isn't the castle, what is this? A floating lantern. Uh -uh, what do we got? What do we, can you help me? Hey, where did that ghost come from? Hey you, don't just stand there, get that ghost. 
That's a ghost? Hold on. Yeah, whoa. And it's carrying a giant scythe. You got the Poe's soul. Collect one from each Poe you defeat. See how many you have on the collection screen. Yes, this just started a new side quest of Poe's. So if you've seen any of those lanterns around, that's what they were. Thanks for beating the ghost. Can I call you Doggy? I'm Giovanni. I became consumed by greed long ago and sold my soul to a dark creature that did this to me. I can't move. I can't go see my girlfriend. My pet cat Jengle is stuck, is frozen on my head. I don't think I could be more miserable. I have to ask you a favor, Doggy. Can you find and defeat the 20 ghosts that lurk in the dark for me? I think if you can free the peas the pieces of my soul from the ghosts that hold them, I'll be free. Oh, but it's raining now, so I don't think you can go outside directly. I'll open the door t to the underground waterway for you. Nice. Once the rain stops, you can come back in here by digging around the front wall where the cats gather. Understand, doggy? Okay. Alright, gonna go ahead and just head on down there. So yeah, we have to collect 30 of those Poes in order to free his soul. Alright, and for the, and this part right here, I don't know why, this part of this game reminds me of that one Wii Ratatouille game. Have any of you guys played that? I'd like to know. I don't know why it just reminds me of that so much. Probably because it, it's like this water. This is like the sewer, I guess. And there are just a bunch of rats here. Alright. Let's go ahead and... No, let's not jump in the water and swim. Let's go ahead and just pull this giant chain here. Alright. Just flowing down here. Whoa. Mm. Oh, we got some Skultulas. Beat them up. Kill them. Can't attack them from the front. Okay, you can. What? The hitboxes are weird. The spider. Kill these spiders. Alright, so give me this heart. Wait, I don't think I needed it. Alright, let's light this stick. Yes. Let's hurry up before this runs out. Alright, put this down. It's gonna run out any second. Come on. Right? Yeah, there we go. Runs out. Now, I don't really need both sides lit, but I just always light them both up. Alright, I need this. I need these, and these keys are gonna drive me crazy. Did I kill them both? I did. That's cool. I, kn I know you didn't. Okay. All right. Perfect timing too. Now I can just grab this stick again and then light this cobweb on fire right here. Yes, please. All right. That's all we need with the stick with the fire. Just walking around like a circus dog. I, d I shouldn't attack too many enemies here because I'm wasting my own time. Oh. Did I kill all the keys? Guess I didn't. Alright, in here. We have another Bulblin. And a couple of skulls. Alright, I probably shouldn't be attacking them with Minna on me. So you can dig here in the center of this floor right here. That's how you... That's how you get here. Okay. Nice. So this place should look vaguely familiar to you. Oh, we got some more rats here. Nice. Yeah, we were here quite a long time ago, weren't we? Oh, I just got hit. Get out of here. Alright, I'm just gonna... You might want to kill these Bulblins here. The ones that got arrows, because they can be annoying to you. Or at the very least, just knock them off, because once they fall, that will be their end. Like that one there. Yeah. It's dead. And since Midna cannot jump, the game was nice enough to put little type ropes here for us to walk on. Nice. Alright. Alright, All right, here we are. Yeah, just walk across these. Just walk right across these. Also, this one right here is pointless. Look at this one. It just starts there and it ends right there. I mean, you could save more time by walking. Just... What's the point of that? Come on. And I believe this is the last one. No, wait, no, it's not the last one. It's like the second to last. 
I just want to push him off. Jeez, I did a whole heart of damage. Oh my gosh. Oh. <coughs> Get on the rope. That's why I'm... If I wanted to fall, I would have told you. Alright. Get across. Yeah, this is the last one. Because once this railing is here, that means that this is the end. Alright, just get on up. There are some enemies here, but I'm just gonna go through this door. Ooh, one of them had a... One of them had a bow to shoot arrows. It's raining. How are his fire arrows not extinguishing? The fire on his arrows, how are they not extinguishing? Also, yes, it is very windy here too, so you must be careful of that. Come on, let's get up here. Alright, come up here. Oh gosh, get up here. Alright, alright, just just let go. Come on down. There's a cargo rock here. And sometimes this guy will die in one hit. And sometimes it won't. <gasps> no. It was close. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wait, have we got hearts in this skull? We don't got anything in that skull. It's very windy, so you gotta be careful. And also, you might be thinking, no men jumping, how do we get across? Well, you see this bridge right here? It flows with us in the wind. So we actually have to cross this bridge to get to over here. Can I get hearts? Can I not get rupees and get a heart, please? Alright, and it is safe to just jump down here, so... That's nice. And there's only one card rock here. Last time we were here, there were a lot. But I guess the Twilight Realm was too much for them, so... They just died. I don't know what happened to them, but they're not here. That's for sure. Alright. Here it is. Here, we're in the tower. Just get this. Ah, <sighs> finally, we made it to Zelda. Please, please tell me, how do we break the curse on this one? This is the one. You need him to save your world. That's why, Princess, please, you must help Connor. What binds him is a different magic than what transformed him when he first passed the Curtain of Twilight. It is an evil power. Our world is one of balance, just as there is light to drive away darkness, so too is there benevolence to banish evil. Head for the sacred grove that lies deep within the lands guarded by the spirit Pharaon. There, you will find the Blade of Evil's Bane that was crafted by the wisdom of the ancient sages, the Master Sword. The Master Sword is a sacred blade that evil can never touch. Evil cloaks you like a dark veil, and that blade is the only thing that can cleave it. Connor, hero sent by the goddesses. Like you, I have been granted special powers by the goddesses. Fine, Connor. You can get to the woods on your own, right? Princess, I have one last request. Can you tell him where to find the Mirror of Twilight? Midna, I believe I understand now just who and what you are. Despite your moral injuries, you act in our stead. The dark, these dark times are the result of our deeds, yet it is you who have 
reaped the penalty. Accept this now, Midna. I pass it to you. There she is. We go back, Connor. Back to Faron Woods. Zelda. I've taken all that you had to give, though I did not want it. This series is all over the place. The castle's in the twilight, and Zelda is now apparently gone. Anyways, let's go ahead and make our ways over to Faron Woods. Here we go. We can spare you all the walking just by warping there. I mean, you can walk, but everyone warps there, so I'll follow in that. <coughs> Alright, here we are, Faron Woods. Alright, now they said to head here in order to head to the Sacred Grove. Which is in North Faron Woods, they said. Oh, look who it is. <laughs> oh, look, it's these puppet guys. So the easy way to... No, we've never seen these guys before. But the easy way, I guess, to kill them is just to do your Midna attack. Where you hold down B and then let go. Did... Did you save me? Thank you. Listen, since you're so nice, let me tell you something. There's a really pretty wooded area on the other side of this cliff. I climbed over there, but when I tried to get deeper into the woods, those guys attacked me. What's in those woods anyway? Well, we're gonna go ahead and find out. Okay, I didn't. I didn't want to. Okay, I didn't want to talk to you again. All right. So we can go ahead and mid and jump over to here. So there's another section of the forest beyond this cliff. All right, Connor, let's go. Let's go, yes. Go ahead and jump right on over there. You probably didn't even know this was accessible. And as we, like, jump on, look, it's, like, opening up more to our map. And there's some keys here. Just go ahead and... Whoa, that was really close to the edge. Maybe I should think before I do that. All right, so we have some more of these bridges that we saw in the forest temple. Wow. I have not seen these in a long, long time. And you can't even hear them from the other side of this area. Look at that. Alright. So here we have these things, like these log... S ...swings that knock you off. Alright, we just gotta quickly... I have been knocked off by these things, like, one time. And a howling stone. Listen to this. Oh, I know what this is. There we go. I know what this one was, so you could have just followed along with me. 
Golden Wolf. Ooh, I can skip this, right? Yeah. Yes! Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. Nice. So there he is. He's right there. We will visit that very soon. Not in this episode, maybe the next one, but... I just, we just got other stuff to do, so let's head over into the Sacred Grove. I really love the music in the Sacred Grove, it's so pretty. It's one of my favorite soundtracks in all of Zelda. Alright, and if you listen closely, you'll notice that the Sacred Grove music has Sari's song in it from Ocarina of Time. Anyways. Hold on, we have another Howling Stone. Alright, this one is Zelda's Lullaby. It even has a Triforce on the stone. This is the Skull Kid! No, oh, I don't- I'm not dealing with you again. I just beat Majora's Mask last week. Come on! <sighs> Alright. So, yeah, the Skull Kid is sending down all of these puppets. I don't really have a name, I guess. Maybe they do, but... These are- I just call them puppets, cause... That's kinda what they are. Alright. Now, this place, one thing you may notice is that there's no mini-map here, so you basically have to walk through this place by yourself. Don't worry, you'll have me. Actually, no, I'm not really that good enough because I still lose myself around this place. I just came from here, wow. See? Alright. Okay, and you're gonna see these guys a whole lot. I guess just one quick spin attack will get rid of them. Didn't I tell you to die? Alright. But I don't think you guys are pretty good at the quick spin, so just use your minute attack on them. Okay, one time I, I hit him right here, and my game crashed, so I like fear every time I get to this point now. But yeah, you have to find the Skull Kid and hit him. You'll know you're close because you'll hear the little instrument he's playing, so... So where? he Did he go in here? I could be wrong. I feel like this is where I came from, right? Oh, did, and yeah, sometimes he'll open up some new ways, which where he was before. Alright, let me just get rid of those things. Okay. These these guys these guys do not leave you alone. Alright, let's go left here. We're close, yep. He's like behind this little waterfall here. In fact he just blew his trumpet again. Come up here. See if I can how in the world did that not work? Alright, sometimes I've that little hole there, you're gonna hate it because sometimes I've tried to attack him and I've like jumped over that hole. It was annoying. Alright. There he goes. Alright, oh, I saw him. I saw him. Saw him. You can't hide. You know where the heck he went. Get out of here. Alright, I don't really take damage much from those puppets, but... They're, they're, they're still annoying because they're... He summons them so many... So frequently. Where'd he go in here? Alright, yeah. Nice. Alright. So that triggers something. You have to, like, kind of walk around to, like, trigger his location. It's kind of weird how it works, but it... I don't know. I have nothing else to say. I don't know what the butt was for. Alright. So he's up here, just 
come across this little tree bridge. How in the world did this f did the tree grow like this? This makes no sense. But this is just where he is. Alright. There you go. Get him there. Go on down in there. Alright. Jump on down there. Yes. Okay. So he only went this way because it's the only way we can go. Okay, I was wondering. It's supposed to be a cutscene that triggered. It took him a while to notice I was here. Hmm, can we just not have these please? I'd really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, get out of here. Uh, wow. Wait, it's right. Where'd he go? You can only hit him whenever he blows his, his horn. Only time you can hit him. Alright, alright. Oh wait, that was dumb. I have, to, I have to kill all these things first. And also, it's kind of better for me because I don't like fighting him whenever he's up high. Got him. I also, whenever you hit him, apparently all the puppets around him die. Okay, you can stop blowing now. Okay, jeez. It's a bit longer than that. what I thought. Oh, no. Oh, I know you guys. I know you did not just cancel that out for me. Oh, I just scared him away. Got him. And that should be it. He's not dead, but he's had enough. Bye. Well, what? That's it? You just say bye? Okay. Let's see if I can get a heart back. Yes, I can. Give me that back. Also, I just realized how quickly I'm filling up my wallet. That's faster than I wanted to. Here we are. Let's say, oh, we can now heal. Howl here. It's the Zelda's lullaby one. Gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. We're in like some fourth dimension here. So, this is basically a puzzle that we have to do. And a lot of people really hate this puzzle. I don't really, just because I know it. We are guardians of this land. Guide us to where we once stood. Only then... Can you enter the true sacred grove? So basically what we have to do, those two spots right there, we have to get those guys to stand on them. And I and I know I see your draw drop dropping right now. But anyways, a lot of people say that if you're playing the GameCube or Wii version, you have to flip the pattern. Actually, no, you don't. The pattern is left, down. Right, right, up, left, up, up, left, down, down, and if you mess up you can like press A to start over right and then up they don't have to be perfectly facing because they'll do that themselves but there you go Ooh. 
and the door opens for us now. Go now to the sacred place, beast. We yield passage to the sacred grove. And they're gone. Look at that. That was a pretty interesting puzzle. Anyways, here we are. Look at what our eyes behold us. Here we are again. Another Master Sword cutscene. It's that crystal thing that we saw got shoved into our forehead last episode. Sounds like we're human again. Yes! You. The sword accepted you as its master. Yes, it did. <clears throat> nice, dude. This thing is the embodiment of the evil magic that Zant cast upon you. It's definitely different from our tribe's shadow magic. Careful, if you touch it, you'll turn back into a beast. This thing is too dangerous. It's probably for the best that we just leave it here, huh? But, on the other hand, if we kept it, you'd be able to transform into a beast anytime you wanted. Yes, since Zant was kind enough to give us this, we should be thankful and use it all we can. If you need it, just call me. I want to keep a low profile, so I'll handle I'll hide in your shadow when you're a human, but I can change you whenever. You can be a wolf anytime you like. Also, thanks to this thing, you can warp whenever you want by switching into wolf form. But listen, Connor, I've got a little favor to ask. Would you mind coming with me to find something called the Mirror of Twilight? It's hidden somewhere in Hyrule. Yes, the Mirror of Twilight, our last potential link to Zant. Well, look at that. We finally got ourselves our Master Sword. Look at that. Look at how awesome this thing is. So nice. And if you press Z to talk to Midna, look at that. We now have options. Transform into Wolf, Warp, and Speak to Midna. We can now warp anytime we want. And if you just press the Map button and then you press Z, the portals will show. And you can just warp anytime you want. But anyways, guys, this is episode is going to wrap it up here. It's been quite a while. Well, not really. I know it was a little bit shorter today, but that's because I don't want to put anything else about this into this episode. So I just want to thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you're all having a good day. And I'll see you all next time. So you all take care and have a good rest of the day.